Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Madden Mobile video on my channel. Now today's video, guys, we have episode 7, week 7 of Madden Mobile Mondays for you guys. This is a series where we have a weekly mini podcast on Mondays, talking about everything Madden Mobile with updates, upcoming stuff to the game, all that kind of stuff in this kind of series. Once again, some of my information is coming from Nick Messina, our community manager. He streams Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern on EA Madden NFL's Twitch account, so make sure to stop by there for a chance at giveaways and just kind of a lot of information that I will be getting here. Uh, if there is some, there's not a lot of that kind of stuff today, but we're just going to be talking about some of these topics, talking about the current draft promo, hopefully Master Series coming soon, and what we might have for the rest of the field pass for upcoming promos, along with any other updates we might have. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by SeatGeek. I'm excited to become a brand ambassador for SeatGeek. SeatGeek is by far the easiest way to buy tickets for anything. NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and even concerts, they have it all. It compiles the prices from all over the web to make sure you're getting the best price on each ticket. Each ticket has a score to let you know if you're getting a good or bad deal, green being good and red being bad. And on your first purchase of $50 or more on the SeatGeek app, using my code TheGooseTV, you're going to get $20 off. as a huge deal. Definitely not going to want to pass this up. Click the link in my description to get started, and let's get on with the video. So yeah, let's get right into this week's episode. I'm excited to get into it. Uh, let me know if you guys have been enjoying, enjoying this series. I think it's like it's it's kind of like a filler thing, but I feel like this kind of thing is really nice to have for a video. Uh, first of all, like I said, for me, it's a filler video. I know on Mondays that I guarantee myself that I'll have an upload. Uh, I'll ha always have something to talk about, but also some of these topics, it's kind of some of those things where I don't necessarily have the whole, like I can't make it into a full video. Like I can't make a full video talking about Master Series. Series, or I can't make a full video just my opinions on the draft promo because they won't do good and it just doesn't make sense uh, you know to, to make a single video so it's kind of a spot where I can compile a bunch of different things uh, into one thing so let's get into it let's talk about the draft promo so far um, I've been slacking a little bit I think I've missed a few events here and there but overall I think it's actually a pretty solid promo uh, we I think we have enough events like there's enough stuff to do obviously there's not a whole lot um, but you do have to log on at least twice a day to get some of your events done and get your first wins done. I haven't even played most of these night train lane stuff, but we got a free 98 overall. The math is actually really good. You can probably get about two masters, and I think it's one of those promos where, you know, there's some promos where you're going to have to spend, you know, some of your gems, some of your coins, but there's nothing to spend coins on anyway, so you might as well spend it on some of these promos and enjoy it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing probably, maybe spending some coins or whatever I'm going to need to be able to complete some of these masters, but overall, I think it's been a decent promo. I like the idea of the draft gems with the kind of the draft gem sets where you can get some random stuff a new set came out today where you can get a 95 lieutenant from season 7 so that's pretty cool right there uh, we have pack only players possible in events. You have you can pull the picks in the events. There's not just masters. There's picks too. I know it's a longer promo, but these longer promos usually are the better ones because they don't just have the super boring play over and over again to get stuff to get masters. There's other stuff to do as well. And then on draft night, we'll have some other stuff as well. Probably some more events. And obviously the top 10 players will be, uh, you know, released into the game. I will probably make a video tomorrow on that talking about what might be coming out in that. But so far, I'm pretty happy, happy with draft. We got these brand new masters the other day. The Calvin Johnson, Lawrence Taylor, Adanian Tomlinson, and Vernon Davis. Uh, the draft legends, they do take each uh, their own uh, uh, the draft badges instead of just regular badges. So that's pretty interesting right there. Looks like they're a little bit harder to get, uh, I would guess, from yesterday and today. I haven't pulled much. Uh, maybe I just got unlucky. Not sure. But that is the draft promo. I think in general, it has been a pretty good promo. I've been happy with it. I think everybody's been pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's one of the better math promos we've had. Uh, Considering it is almost a two times long promo than it usually is, uh, I think I think it's pretty good. So I'm happy with it. Uh, and yeah, so I want to talk a little bit more about what might be coming next. So after draft, after this, 
EA has to start improvising on their promos. You know, we've seen a lot of stuff. Obviously, free agency is kind of a off-season theme, so it kind of goes with it. But, like, you know, we had stuff like Campus Heroes and that kind of stuff. We are going to have to see a lot more of the improvised promos uh, pretty much after draft because, uh, basically, you know, un until 4th of July, which is always obviously, like, that. that's also, a like, a holiday-themed promo. There's no holidays until July. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff going on. Maybe we'll get stuff for Memorial Weekend, but we usually don't get anything like that. So, um, you know, up until then, we don't have any specific NFL promos. There's no, you know, there's nothing really going on. Maybe like, yeah, no, like for the most part, there's not a lot going on. So um, we're going to have to start getting some brand new promos, uh, some new things ideas so you know we could look back the last few years last year they did all decade for a whole field pass i was actually pretty happy with that month I know the promos weren't super exciting, but I think the math was pretty decent. Um, the best part about the offense and defense ones was the fact that we had the, uh, what was it, the 99 cards in packs. They put those in, which was cool. I don't think we'll see anything like that this year, unfortunately. But that made the game actually super exciting for a while. Um, maybe we'll see that kind of promo again. Not sure. Maybe that was more, obviously, since it was 2020, end of the decade type thing. Uh, so we probably won't necessarily see that this year. But they're going to have to do something to keep us... You know invested they're gonna have to do some different promos we have man max out right now except right now it has no kind of there's no reason for it to be not i wouldn't say no reason for it to be out but it is like almost impossible to get one of these cards right now so um that's why i haven't made like a how to get man max badge video or anything like that because you shouldn't even look at this right now this should not be like this is something where you're gonna probably look at in a few months this is not something for you to look at right now um you know in the future we'll definitely have some more videos on that kind of stuff but for right now um uh, it's just not possible, not worth it, and that is the state of Mad Max and the state of that for the most part. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, new promos will be coming soon. I honestly have no idea what they will have. Um, they're just going to have to do some old, you know, or not some old stuff. Maybe they'll do some old promos, but they're going to have to come up with some new ones. I know they had some cool stuff last year. They did a good job at the end of the year, I think, last year. You know, we had, like, the king of the board. Obviously, that's a little bit weird, but I would I would probably expect that to come out in the offseason at some point. I think people have not have enjoyed that. I you know we had, like, Gridiron. We had a lot of different fun promos, so I'm excited to see what we might have in the next, you know, few weeks, next few months months um and something else i want to talk about is i know that they are going to be uh ab i believe it is after this field pass um there will be no season tournaments at the end of the field passes uh there's obviously i'd like to say i believe there's going to be one after this field pass um however after this there will be no end of season tournaments i believe the reasoning for that nick said was the fact that they just have more people working on man mobile 22 at that point and it's uh they don't have the resources and that kind of stuff from there on out to be able to continue to do those tournaments so um um, I would assume we'll probably get some other way to get the points because for a lot of people that is the way that they finish off their getting their points and get a lot of good stuff from that. Uh, so I would I would assume we'll have some sort of placement, maybe like a promo thing. I know once there was like Ultimate Legends came out in place of it. I know last season Ultimate Legends ran al alongside of it, so maybe we'll get something like that. I know Ultimate Legends is you know horrible this year. I haven't touched even the second release at all. Um, but maybe we'll get something. But I know we'll have to get some sort of point you know some other way to get some points at the end of the seasons but i just want to let you guys know that those are going to be going away uh i know some people don't grind them it's a little bit weird to have them in the middle of the week i know a lot of people don't enjoy that a lot but um just something to note uh, you know, for the next few months, I know we're, we're kind of winding down here uh, season-wise. The game is not in a great state right now. I just don't think a lot of people are playing, and, you know, there's no reason to play, really. I mean, I wouldn't say there's no reason to play, but there's no nothing super incentivizing. There's nothing, nothing crazy to get people to play right now. It's just grind, 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 get one or two good players from a promo every single week, and that's about it. There's nothing else to do in the game at the moment, so hopefully we get some new stuff coming out in the next few months. Uh... You know, I talked about this last episode of Mad Mobile Mondays, but that's what I that's what I'm thinking right now. That's where my head's at for this game. Uh, and then Master Series, once again, we've been promised it's coming in April. So if it were to come in April, it would have to be this week at some point because uh, yeah, 30th is Friday, and then we get into May. But uh, it's honestly not looking like it. I know they said that they're working on it. Um, they're like they're working on this release, so it is coming at some point. It's not like they're not doing it at all. But it just might not be April like they promised. If it is, it's 
<laughs> we gotta wait to the last week of April to get this Master Series that we've been waiting for. Even though it really does nothing for us, the players probably won't even fit on our, a lot of people's teams. Uh, it might be nice to upgrade the Lamar. I know some people want that, but it's just nah, hasn't been updated enough. Isn't uh, isn't the backbone of the game as what they've been calling it, or what they call it at the start of the year. Uh, so hopefully that will be coming very, very soon. Uh, in the game, we'll have to see, but I guess that's pretty much it for this episode of Man Mobile Mondays. Master Series hopefully soon. Draft going on right now. We can talk more about how the weekend went because I believe Draft will be just ending when we upload our, uh, our next week's episode of Man Mobile Mondays. Once again, join my Discord if you want to help me out with more ideas for this series. We've got a little channel in there or any other talk, anything like that. Let me know either, even in the comments any suggestions for topics or any changes to the series. I would really appreciate any feedback, anything like that. Today's post notification shout out goes to Neil21. Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out. But anyways, guys, that is just about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV and I'm out. I will see you guys later.